Hey guys, it's Sky Limit Heights here, and welcome back to another Scratch video. Because it's almost Thanksgiving, I decided to make a Thanksgiving themed game. Today, we're going to be making a turkey hunting game where you shoot turkeys and you get points. Alright, let's jump into it. Okay, so before we start this project, we first need to get our sprites. I've pre made sprites uh, for you guys, and you can find them in Turkey Hunting Assets, which will be linked in the description below. And once you get here, all you do is you scroll down, you should see a backpack tab, and then you get all the sprites and you drag them into your backpack. So you can use them in your own project. So just go ahead and drag all of these um, pre-made sprites into your backpack. And let's see, a couple more. And now go back to your project and scroll down and open your backpack and drag them all out. So here, right there, there, bullet, text, and another text, and then a backdrop. So if you didn't notice, um, these sprites don't have any scripts in them, and they're simply just um, some artwork I did previously before this video. So you guys don't have to go through the trouble of watching me manually create these um, sprites. All right, so now we have all of these sprites inside our project, we can actually start coding. The first thing we have to do is um, define our backdrop. So as you can see, I put the backdrop in this backdrop slide um, sprite, and all you gotta do is go to costumes, zoom out, and then click down and select everything, and then press control X to cut it, and then you can go in and delete this sprite and then click backdrops and then control V right here. So just control V. And now you can see we have our backdrop right here. So now we have to go ahead and do our turkey first. And how this game is going to work is there's going to be turkeys running around in this uh, little field and you're on a mountain uh, mountaintop and you have to shoot down at them. And every time you hit one, you get a hundred points and uh, but these turkeys are fast so they each have a random speed assigned to them so some are going to be slow some are going to be fast and they're going to be coming from random um, positions on the screen either from the left or from the right so the first thing we have to do is go to when green flag clicked and right in the beginning we have to hide our original version of our turkey because we don't want to show the original version, we only want to show the cloned versions. Then we're going to go to control and put a repeat block here. And what this number at the top is going to do is uh, like spawn uh, n amount of turkeys. So if we put like 20, it's going to spawn 20 turkeys. Uh, and then after this, we go to clone and we're going to create a clone of myself, which is the turkey. And then wait, um, like let's just say 0 0.5 seconds because we don't want them spawning all at once. Like just, it's going to go crazy. And now if we do this, um, it should create the clones. But as you can see, we can't see anything because they're hidden. To fix that, we have to drag a when I start as a clone block into our workspace. And then drag a show so we can show the clone. And now we have to pick um, a random position for the turkey to spawn. There's two options. The first option is they spawn at the left and they move right, or they spawn from the right and move left. And to do that, we can drag an if else block and then drag an equal sign and then a pick random one to two. So if it's a one, we'll spawn it from the left. If it's a two, we'll spawn it from the right. So let's go ahead and make this if pick random one to two is one, then we spawn it from the left. And to do that, we go to motion and then go to X, Y. And we first have to figure out, let's see, we, I'll just use this target as a positioning thing. So we first have to figure out what X position will our turkey spawn from. So let's see, this is about 215. So let's just spawn it off screen and let it move right onto the screen. So let's just go ahead and spawn it at negative 250. 
And for the y, we want it to be random, so we have to define an upper bound and a lower bound. So the upper bound will be, uh, let's see, right here, so 157 to all the way down here, uh, negative 77. So we're going to spawn it from the range of 157 to negative, uh, or negative 157 to 77. So let's go ahead and do that. Negative 157 to negative, oh wait, my bad. It's 157 to negative 77. So this would pick a random number in this interval, and it would uh, make the turkey go uh, at x negative 250, which is at the left side of the screen, and a random y in this range. Now we want it to move right once it spawns. So to do that, we first have to go to variables and create um, a speed variable. And as you can see, I already did this here because when we dragged um, the sprite into our workspace, it automatically created these variables, which would be for the turkey. So as you can see, I already created a speed variable for you guys, so you don't need to do that. Uh, but what we need to do is set speed to a random number because we don't want our turkeys all moving in the same speed. That would be a bit boring. So we can make some slow and some fast. And I've defined a range here, 2 to 7, that seems like an ideal range. So the fastest ones would move at um, 7, and the slowest ones would move at 2. Now all we got to do is make our turkeys, since they're already pointing, um, as you can see in the costume, they're already pointing to the left, so we don't need to do any repositioning. And all we got to do is move it 10 steps. Or actually, no, let's not use move. Let's use x. That's more accurate. So we're going to change its x by speed. By speed. But we have to put this in a repeat block because or else our turkey would move uh, this amount of steps and then it would stop. And what we do is we put this in a repeat until block. And then we're going to go ahead and go to sensing and we're going to make our turkeys keep going until it reaches a certain x. So we're going to make it go from negative 250 and it, it's going to run across the screen and then it's going to hit another x coordinate. Let's define it as 250. So once it runs from across the screen and it reaches the other side, we're going to want to make it disappear. And to do that, we're going to say, okay, repeat until its x position is greater than 250. And while it's doing that, it'll change x by speed, which means it'll run all the way until it hits uh, this ball here. Or until it, uh, its x position is greater than 250, then it'll disappear. But we're going to put a delete at the bottom. Um, but for now, we first have to figure this out. So once we do that, all we have to do is add a weight, because, or else our turkey would be zooming across the screen. And I think 0 0.1 would be a good weight. And let's try this. So, um, okay. Oops, let's see what happened here. Oh yeah, we didn't put the, we didn't put the other one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do the other side. So let's see. If we want it to spawn from the right and move left, we basically do the same thing. But instead of starting from negative 250, we want to start it from 250. And instead of x position uh, hits greater than 250, we want it to go from right to left, which means uh, we want it to disappear after it hits the negative coordinates, which would be on the left. And to do that, we make this a less than negative 250. And we're also going to change our uh, x by negative speed because we're moving from right to left. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, multiply it by negative 1. That'll just reverse it from positive to negative. And we're going to wait 0 0.1 as we did here. And um, another thing to realize is that if we make it, uh, if we make the turkey move from right to left, it's going to look like it's walking backwards because the turkey sprite is pointed to the right. So to make it pointed to the left, all we have to do is go to motion and then point in direction negative 90. So now you can see the arrow is here 
uh, the turkey is going to be pointing this way. And once it reaches um, either the left side or the right side, we just want to delete it at the end. So just put a delete at the bottom because after um, it hits one of these, it's going to break out of the repeat and it's just going to go directly to here. And now let's try this. So you can see these turkeys are starting to appear and they seem a bit rather like staticky. So we can change our weight to a bit uh, smaller increment so they look more smooth when they're moving. Okay, now they're much smoother. Um, the FPS definitely increased. So, uh, But there's a lot of turkeys spawning and we can decrease that by changing this weight here. So now it'll spawn one every second. But you can see it looks kind of weird because these turkeys, they're just moving, but their legs aren't moving. And to fix that, we have to animate the turkey. To do that, I've already made um, some costumes for the animation of the turkey. As you can see here, this is like the walking animation. It's running like that. And we just have to cycle through these um, costumes while it's moving. So let's go back in our workspace and I'm gonna clean up the blocks a little so it's easier to see. And we're gonna drag another when I start as a clone block. But this time we're gonna go to forever or drag a forever block. And then um, switch, co oh, at the beginning switch costume to the first costume. So we want our turkey to start like this. And then it's gonna go down the costumes all the way down here 9 10 and then once it hits costume 10 we want it to go back up to costume 2. so we're going to drag a forever block and then we're going to go and say um next costume and what this is going to do is it's just going to keep switching costumes from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 and we have to add a weight here just so it doesn't switch it instantly and let's make it the same as our walk speed. So 0 0.05, you can see we also have 0 0.05 for our increment. But the problem is that I also have a death costume at the end where the turkey is dead. So um, we don't want that to be part of the cycle. And instead of that, we're going to, uh, um, to skip that, we're going to drag an if block and then an equal sign and then go to sensing, backdrop of stage. We're gonna change this to costume of turkey. So let's see, turkey, where's the turkey? Is there no turkey? Wait, um, turkey sprite one, let's see. If, you know what, actually, I'm gonna delete this. I think it's in looks, so if, Oh yeah, here it is. If costume number is, what is it, costume number 10? Uh, the death costume is uh, number 10. So if it's 10, or no, no, if it's 9, if we reach the end of our cycle, like if we reach here, we want it to go back up to costume number 1. And to do that, we're going to set our costume, switch costume back to costume 2 at the beginning. And then we're going to add another weight in here because we don't want it to switch immediately. After this, it's going to switch to costume 2, wait, and then go back up. And now it should look like um, the turkey is running once we hit green flag. And as you can see, the turkeys are running across the screen and their legs are moving. So it actually looks like they are running across the screen and not just moving like floating in the air okay this is some good progress and let's see here i'm going to clean this up uh okay i think this is all the time we have for this video but i will be making a part two so stay tuned thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye